Hello, Be Heart is back with some more sharing, some more thoughts. Um, there's a load of loads of changes happening for all of us. It's it's you that listening is listening to this, and it's your colleagues, your family members, your friends. Uh, Everyone goes through a lot of things where we come to a point in our life that we see this is not working anymore. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Or where someone else says this or someone else changes it. And it could be anywhere in our life. It could be in private life. It could be just in professional life. It could be in the family, um, it could be anywhere. So that is a very, normally very scary thing when suddenly that inner push happens, this kind of, whoa. <laughs> and we take ourselves back and think, oh my God, what's this? What's this? What I'm going to do? What I, I do feel I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. What, what will I do? what will I do? Or <clears throat> I'm losing ground under my feet, I'm losing my job, my relationship finishes, my uh, housing situation uh, changes, um, loads of things happening. And I'm totally like, wow, this is so sudden, so strong. What can I do? Now, first of all, I'm here to say, look, this is happening to many and maybe to nearly everyone, um, those that haven't got that change happening in their life right now to that extent, that suddenness, <clears throat> that intensity, they certainly have gone through this before and uh, and they will later as well. Um, now, <laughs> we all have changes coming up in our life all the time. Uh, very often we, we are kind of... Um, programmed into the changes like let's say <clears throat> when we finish school we go to into another phase we learn a profession we go to college or we travel or something so we kind of have this kind of pro projection that things will change and we will change our life situations in certain ways that are kind of mind mainstream they're mainstream because many go into these changes in this way and they are mainstream because they are acknowledged and everybody thinks that's normal. So in this regard, when these changes come along, we don't feel that scared. Still, there's always this kind of thing, oh, what's going to happen? I knew that space very well that I was in. I felt comfortable or, you know, sometimes I didn't feel comfortable, like in school maybe. And I'm just hoping that the next place that I go to is different or I'm scared because I fear there could be the same patterns. So whatever happens change can be difficult and there is also the other two sides or the, or the, the two sides that i <clears throat> have looked into is like change seems to be difficult for people very very difficult or sometimes not very difficult but it always needs quite a few adjustments so we are hesitant so on the other hand there is this kind of same old, same old. Oh, what what should ha if you ask someone and say, How, what's going on? Oh, there's just that same old, same old. Really boredom, really kind of depressed um, uh, statements that people that have no drive, that don't expect any joy anymore, that feel like, oh, this is it till the end of the life. And it's always really, really depressing to hear that even like when someone talks like this, my heart always goes out and I'm like, oh my God, this is, oh, this is really, really hard. This is really difficult. I can't, I can't imagine myself to have such a perspective and to live such a life. <clears throat> so I guess my, 
my sitting here in front of my camera talking to you is to just give you an idea or just shed a little bit of light on the fact that change is normal in life always happens always has to happen otherwise we would not go anywhere we would not change anything at all like think back 15 years 20 years what was common ground what did we eat what did we wear which technologies were we using was it normal that we kind of live this the way that we live now? No, certainly not. Certainly not. And some of us certainly were those that started these trends or that dared to be different, that dared to do things in a different way. And um, this is, is the situation that we are in at the moment. Oh, there is so beautiful ducks flying over. I wanted to film them, but I didn't get them. Um, so anyway, change is normal. And if you are sitting in the middle of change right now and you feel you have no, no orientation, you don't know what to do, your whole... Uh, your emotions are really coming up big time, like anxiety, um, uh, feeling lost, feeling abundant, fe feeling not loved, feeling um, disconnected, confused, um, rejected maybe even. Um, just know that you are not alone but also know that there is ways to deal with this. Now, when you are in a situation like this, that there is this kind of uh, mind running wild, emotions coming up really, really strong, which is what I hear all the time, then please sit down, take a piece of paper and make a list of all these fears, emotions, concerns that you have list them all so you can look at them so this way you admit them as well you acknowledge them you're not fighting them to the same extent anymore and then maybe it is shortly after or let pass a day or some hours whatever feels right sit down and try to find a different aspect to it like which way could I look at this maybe like if you have to move place you know whatever look at this or what could be a possible solution or possible solutions write them down who could I talk to make some notes behind all these things so bring them a little bit out of your of your system and just make them a task make them something that you can look at and work with there is many many solutions with the work that i do i can say that all the emotions that are coming up they're mainly all they're all fear-based all of us have these fear-based emotions i have them as well i have been working on these blocks as i call them for quite some time, years, but have intensified my work on looking at these things and releasing slash integrating them, which has brought me forward quite a bit because I have seen that the, the more I consistently do, it's like pulling the weeds in the garden consistently, the 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 better I do, the stronger I am, the more stable I am, the more I can be uh, happy, the more I can be of service to others. So I do know that these um, these actions that I take to work on my own emotional issues and on my on my fears do actually help. The problem is arising when I do try to push them away when I do try to go to that one doctor for the pill or to that one workshop or to the healer or to the 
tarot reader uh, trying to get information and think when I have that information it's done no that is not the way it works definitely not and I'm not the only one saying that because it is not the way it works our life is a journey and things have happened in this life on this journey and we can work with whatever is in our system and turn it around to our advantage. We always, always learn something from these lessons. It's just not visible the, at the time when we're in the middle of the storm, so to say. So don't allow yourself to believe that when you go to this one person, expert, whatever, it's going to be resolved. No, 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 it's not working that way. It is your path that you can walk. And when you find the right person or group, then this, this, this walking the path gets easier. You will see that you are not alone. That's, that's part of the, um, of the problem that it's blown up so much because everybody thinks that's their problem alone. It's, they are alone in this. I personally do not recommend generally only these self-help groups in which people sit and say, oh yes, I am so in such a bad stage because my childhood was so bad or my teachers didn't treat me right and I didn't get the, the results and blah, blah, blah. So I'm not recommending for, for, for a successful resolution of difficult life situations to go and blame others it has never worked for me and i know for those people who are working on themselves it is the opposite we all take responsibility for what is in our life and we work what it is in our life and this is the beauty that turns things around now you may say and think that you are the victim of something yes that could very well be and it you know, still it is in your life and nobody will take it away from you. Your emotional problems are your emotional problems. Nobody can take it away by saying, oh, I'm sorry. Very often that doesn't even help. So you have to learn to forgive, forgive yourself and so forth. It can be a very quick, step once you try start to track responsibility but it can also take several steps a little bit of a longer journey so just go into that process and find the people that you resonate with and as i said if you go into these spaces where you start the blaming and you play the victim i can tell you by experience you're going to prolong your process but that's a valid way as well. If that's your choosing, that's okay too. Just don't expect you to feel better. Don't expect miracles to happen that really make you happy. That will not, pass, that, that will not happen. But it is a very valid way to learn lessons in life, to understand things a little bit better. So for those who are already kind of thinking and pondering, yes, the moment you take responsibility and you think, okay, this is what it is. I'm not happy. I'm desperate. I'm whatever else you, you say. But I want to change this. You have already done a very important step. Continue on this journey take responsibility and try to find ways to resolve to reconcile and there is many ways to do this i just want to to say that i want to encourage you to write these things down to find material books movies people who talk about these things people who offer um, some kind of tools, um, whatever it might be, and try to walk the path. 
So I am Beehart and I can be found on Facebook. I like to work with people. I do quite a quite a bit in terms of empowerment. Uh, it is my dedication to work with people in the way that they don't have to uh, suffer again when they come to work on their emotional blocks. I do um, work with tools that help people very um very much easier to resolve these emotions and um, I don't see people suffering when I work with them we are looking for the resolution of it in a way that it doesn't hurt another time now I'm only helping with all the things that I have worked on for my own issues and this is what I recommend or offer to people who come to me I also do group workshops, um, readings. I have recently trained as a BQH um, practitioner. I work with um, <clears throat> tapping, CTT tapping, um, and, and other methods. So whether in person or in groups, um, the whole range. And YouTube is one of the platforms that I use to share things that I find important for you to know so that you know you're not alone and that there are solutions out there. So if you like what you hear here, just you can uh, subscribe to my channel. You can also press that button for the for the um, notification. You can share it with others. And if it doesn't resonate, maybe it causes a little bit of friction in you. That's good. That's good too. I've been there very, very often. And that friction that stayed in my mind and times later, years, weeks, months, depending, I found knowledge or statements or books or whatever that actually rang so true and were the links that I needed. And then I could go back like <laughs> file in the back of my head and say there was this thing. It never left me. It just kind of constantly nagged me. And then I worked on it. So um, whatever it is in your life, celebrate it. It is a big gift. And I know you might not like this. Um, but that's the way I look at all the challenges in my life. So know that you are love beyond measure. Seriously. And... Um, that all your friends and family members do love you and um, that there are many people out there who are working on the same same things that you do so deep it take a deep breath and maybe two more and then sit down and make a decision what you're going to do with the challenge. All the very best. Namaste. Bye.